Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing another organizing and cleaning. We're gonna be organizing our small closet and a dresser for a family of four. So that's the challenge for today because it's been a mess since we had a little girl and I haven't been able to clean or organize our closet and our dressers so that's the main goal today is to organize it and keep it clean and i'm gonna try to fit all of our clothes a family of four in a small closet and a dresser so we're gonna check it out and we're gonna see how that is gonna work and yeah and we're gonna be talking about verses for contentment i'm just gonna share like verses for contentment um I don't know if you guys noticed, but this house is not really our house. We're living with my mother-in-law at the moment until we buy our own house. Hopefully, God will bless us a house this year and pray for us. <laughs> so that's the goal for this year. But that's why if you see all of my cleaning videos, I pretty much focus on upstairs because that's our main area, which is the loft in our bedroom so yeah if you guys want to see that just keep on watching so okay guys we're in our bedroom now I'm gonna show you the situation uh, what's going on uh, with our closet and our dressers so right now all the baby clothes well not all the baby clothes um, they're all pretty much on the crib because I put the things that I'm gonna donate but once it doesn't fit her so that's the one thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take out all the ones that doesn't fit us anymore so we can try to fit all our clothes in a small um, bed uh, in a in a small <laughs> closet and a dresser so that's the one thing that we're gonna be doing we're gonna take out all we're gonna purge some clothes that we don't use or that doesn't fit us anymore and this is our walk-in closet so this is the situation in our walk-in closet yes baby I hear you so look how small our walk-in closet so this uh, I'm gonna try to fit our clothes me my husband and Zane which is my son so so far um, this is the situation <laughs> it's a mess and it's embarrassing but it's okay it's okay it's okay so we're gonna fix all of those we're gonna organize and stuff like that and yeah we'll see if it works because now that we have four two kids there's a family of four now so we're gonna try we're gonna try to fix everything sorry about that my son is very talkative at the moment so yeah say hi baby hi. say hi Zane okay so yeah let's see how I'm gonna fix all of this <laughs> okay guys so let's jump right in we're gonna try to put all the clothes in the bed and we're gonna sort it out the things that we don't use and we're gonna start folding and organizing so guys I forgot to show you the situation of this dresser so this is shared with my two kids and this one is for my son's um, socks and underwears and swimming stuff and this one is her side where it's a mess as well so this is all uh, all of her um, headband and stuff like that and some washcloths so that's for her and this one is my son's area so this is like all the summer clothes and shorts and stuff like that and let's see on um, this third this is where I usually put all the towels and um, swimming I'm uh, not swimming but um, sleeping clothes this is where I put them and organize and they both share this middle one and on here look how messy it is I know 
I know it's a mess, but this is her area and I'm going to try to organize these as well. So we're going to take out all the ones that doesn't fit her anymore because I know there's a lot. And this is the last one too. This is all hers as well. So yeah, usually, um, actually before I, what I put in the bottom is the, um, what do you call that? The stuff like this. That's what I put in there or her blanket. But then now I don't have space. So I kind of use it for her clothes as well. So that's what we're going to be dealing with today and she got dressed already look at her bed her crib is already nice and fixed and there's no more clothes in there yes yeah so that's what's going on right now and I put everything in there as you can see so I think we're gonna deal with the dresser first the kids stuff and then we'll jump into the walk-in closet in a little bit so yeah we'll do that and I'll update you guys Psalm 71, 3, 5 Be my secure shelter and a strong fortress To protect me, you are my refuge and defense Sovereign Lord, I put my hope in you I have trusted in you since I was young Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So, okay guys, I finally finished the first um, drawer or dresser that I'm fixing so those will be donated and these are the one that I'm gonna put back over there but I'm gonna put it back um, different this time so it will all fit in a dresser so yeah I'll show it to you guys once I'm done with that 1 John 5 14 to 15 we have courage in God's presence because we are sure that He hears us if we ask Him for anything that is according to His will. He hears us whenever we ask Him. And since we know this is true, we know also that He gives us what we ask from Him. So, okay guys, um, it's the new day, it's the second day that I'm doing this. Um, like you saw on the other clips, it's really hard to do these things with kids around. So now um, our grandma from California, which is uh, their great grandma, is visiting. So there are the kids are downstairs at the moment and I get a chance to um, finally organize a bit and um, fix all the dressers and our walk-in closet so that's what we're doing right now and that's why you can see that my clothes are changed and I kind of fix my hair up a little bit better this time so yeah I finally finished um, my kids um, clothes in this small dresser and I will show you guys that right now this is uh, how the dresser came out um, I still have a lot of dirty clothes and things to watch. So I mean to wash, <laughs> watch, <laughs> um, to wash. So that's why it's not fully packed yet. So on this one, this is where my son's socks are gonna be at, and his underwears and some swimming clothes. This is where I usually put them. And on this second one, this is where my daughter's stuff is gonna be at. Um, this is all her headbands in the back. And then all the socks, the mittens, the bibs, and the washcloths. So that's how it looks like over there. And this one is my son's clothes. So this is pretty much like the summer clothes. 
um, this is all the t-shirts, the shorts, um, polo shirts, and some sleeveless tank tops. And this one is for winter, but I just put it in there because we're not going to use it for a while. So that's how it looks like. It looks empty because we still have a lot of laundry to wash and fold. And on this one, this is where I put the towels. Um, usually I put my son's towel on this side so they're separate. And then this is where all the um, sleeping clothes of my son, this is where I put it. So, yeah, and this area right here is my daughter's. Look at how pretty is this. I fold it differently the last time. This is my first time doing this, and I love it. Everything fit. So, all these ones right here are sleeveless or dresses and stuff like that that is folded. And this is like the whole... Um, full full-on suit not like a suit suit but like a full-on clothes and this one are all the onesies the pants and the little onesies and this one doesn't fit her yet this is what i got her but this is super cute so that's how they came out it looks so nice i love it and on this one right here this is where I put all of the um, bibs and the washcloth and the swaddlers and also her little binky stuff. So that's where it goes. And these ones are all the winter ones. So we're not going to use that. So we just put it in the back. And this one are the for photo shoot. That I use for her so I just put it right here just in case I want to reuse them and some headbands again and this is the milestone blocks that um, I use for her shoot every month so that's how they look like how that's how they came out it is so nice and I'm loving it so right now we're just gonna move on to the um, walk-in closet and yeah let's go jump right in okay guys we're in the walk-in closet now so we're gonna start folding clothes and organizing them and hang them and on this side this is all my undergarments and on this side is Kevin's undergarments so that's how we uh, put all the little ones and stuff like that inside the these little drawers so we're gonna start right now and let's see what's gonna happen or like how it will look like in the end so these ones are Zane's uniform and there's no school at the moment so we're just gonna take them out so we can have more hangers for his clothes and we're gonna fold this and this will not probably fit him anymore once the school opens up so we'll see what we're gonna be doing with this one but we're gonna fold it and put it away Hebrews 4 16 let us have confidence then and approach God's throne where there is grace there we will receive mercy and find grace to help us just when we need it. So, okay guys, I finally finished after two days of organizing and folding clothes so we're gonna go through this so the outcome is yes all our clothes as a family of four fit in a small closet and a dresser so like I said earlier this side right here is my husband's undergarments and this one is mine I didn't want to fold my undergarments in front of you guys so that's why I just stuck it in there because it's kind of weird to fold it you know in front of you guys <laughs> so that one right there are all the scarves and the things that we don't use or like for example uh, for snow and stuff like that that's where I put it in that little um, basket and we have the little big bear hiding in here and we just put it there because there's no space in the house 
and all of those are all the jackets and sweaters and stuff like that so on this side i just hanged all of the polo shirt and i mean dress shirts and stuff like that and long sleeve i didn't want to fold them because they will take a lot of space in the dresser so i just hang them in our closet and th these are all his uh, jackets and his pants and and on top are my clothes I just fold the ones, the t-shirts and stuff like that, and um, tank tops and shorts, the one that I wear at home, I just fold them instead of hanging them so they don't take up space. So that's what I did. Same thing with my husband's tanks, um, I just fold them as well, and the jeans, and my shorts, and the leggings. So I just fold them instead of hanging them so it would it wouldn't take up all the space in our closet. So right here, this is all my husband's stuff. Wear all the dress shirts, polo shirts, and t-shirts. And oops. And all of my dresses and t-shirts and stuff like that and these ones are all the um, sweaters and stuff so we try to use these little hangers so we can hang more because we have a small closet and same thing with my husband so that's how it came out it came out pretty good and it came out pretty clean so I like it it's good for now until you know we get our own closet so yeah and i will show you guys the other side real quick so okay guys on this side it kind of piled up a little bit but not a lot because i took out a lot of clothes that doesn't fit him anymore so yeah after the lockdown we couldn't go shopping so we don't have any clothes <laughs> but everything is already um, piled we still have a lot of laundry to um, wash and fold and on the second one so these are all his pajamas and then the towel so that's how it looks like and you saw the other ones already okay guys so that is it for today I finally finished and you know it took me two days to finish organizing and cleaning our closet and dresser because as you saw on the clips I have my kids all the time every day unless my husband gets home early from work then I'll be able to really focus on cleaning and organizing our house but yeah it is tough with two kids but we got this we can still do it right it doesn't matter how long it will take us and all we have to do is maintain it so yeah but i haven't fixed it i haven't organized our closet since um heaven was born so finally i i was able to fix everything and yeah so if you guys have a big family as well with a small shared closet or a dresser make sure you guys try some of the foldings that i did and that I showed you guys on this video um, that will help a lot fold the clothes that you guys will wear from home instead of hanging them and yeah I hope you guys got something out of this video and happy organizing your closet and dresser as well so yeah if you guys do like this kind of videos don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification it helps my channel a lot and you guys will receive all the latest videos in your inbox and I will see you guys Monday Wednesday and Friday I kind of um, put my videos up there three times a day I mean three times a week but we'll see if I can keep up with two, ki with two kids so we'll see but I think we got this so yeah I will see you guys next time bye bye